Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. So up to this point, we've been sketching vehicles in side view. We've been sketching different kinds of vehicles like sedans, uh, sports cars, SUVs, trucks and vans. And we really haven't been talking much about how to make vehicles look futuristic or how to make them look original. We've been sketching these very generic designs uh, and we've been doing that intentionally so in order to give you a better understanding of the different kinds of vehicles and their proportions. And so we're really talking more about architecture and proportion up to this point. And so today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about how to create vehicles that are more futuristic and have a more original design. And so there's a couple of different ways to do that. Uh, one is we can start to experiment a bit with the silhouette of the vehicle. And so we talked a little bit about uh, one box, two box, and three box uh, silhouettes, right? We talked about cargo vans are a one box design where the entire silhouette of the vehicle is one shape. And we have two box designs where uh, the, um, the engine compartment or the bonnet is one volume and the passenger and cargo area are a separate volume. So that would be like an SUV or a hatchback. And then we have uh, sedans and pickup trucks, uh, which are a three box design. And that's because the, the engine or the bonnet the passenger space and the cargo space are completely separated into three separate volumes. And so uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of designers look at the silhouette as a way to, uh, to innovate or to, to come up with something unique and original. So we call that silhouette innovation. And that might be where we start to blend or meld different silhouettes together. And then we can also look at the theme lines, the character lines and how, how they give the vehicle a different, uh, a different impression, a different stance. And so um, I have a technique I wanna show you today that I use to start off a, a project, usually at the very beginning stages. And I call it either thumbnail sketches or soldier sketches. And, and that's where I fill the page with lots of very, very quick, loose sketches, just to kind of loosen up the hand and maybe discover a, a few new shapes and forms that I may not have thought of before. And so I have a, a blank page here and I'm just gonna start laying down some, some fairly like random strokes and you know, really just not thinking too hard about what I'm sketching. Um, just, I'm just trying to lay down some, some, some fairly expressive random lines. Not, not, not quite random, but expressive right like how how expressive can we be and you can see i'm also just indicating some wheels i'm not really sketching wheels at this point but you remember in our original line drawing exercise where we're trying to be very very loose and and confident in our lines this is this is where having confidence in in the lines is very important, very valuable. And it's not about being perfect. I have no idea what I'm sketching at this point. I'm letting, almost letting my hand work faster than my mind. And I'm, I'm letting my hand show me things that uh, I, have, I haven't thought about or haven't imagined before. And not thinking too hard, not trying to be too perfect. And then as I, as I look at the sketches, I begin to discover um, different opportunities to make, to make uh, some very unique proposals. And you can see how I'm not even sketching wheels at this point, I'm, I'm just indicating, indicating wheels. And, and just by, by drawing a few spokes, it gives the impression of a set of wheels. Sometimes I'll start off with some basic shapes like an egg, an egg form, and that'll help me identify some, some cool silhouettes. The egg form is, is nice because it's, it's a passenger, it's kind of an indication of a passenger space. 
and I can kind of define how much of that space between the wheels is passenger space and then overlay that with some very expressive key lines. I've often heard it said, and I've, I've said it to many of my students, that the most, the most unique or the most um, iconic designs are, uh, are, are best described in three lines or less than five lines. So it's, it's, those, it's those key lines, those key three or five lines that really defines the character of a vehicle and makes it iconic. And so... You know, we could we could look at something very sporty or very very elegant and luxurious. So this might be a little more of a, an elegant statement, just just by having lines that are longer and more flowing. As I begin to fill the page, I'm starting to take a look at some of these some of these silhouettes and seeing. All right, what can I do with this? What what can I what do I what do I see in this, right? So, starting at the top again. Now I can start to maybe fill in some details. Maybe I start to fill in some wheels. And I'm just slowly building up the sketch and and getting a little bit more clear as to what what the vehicle form is doing. And before I get too far, I'll just go right on to the next one. And I might see, see different things in that, in that vehicle. I almost see like a, a, a super sports car with room for four people. Imagine, imagine having something with the character of a McLaren and space for four people. Wouldn't that be a pretty innovative silhouette? I'm not thinking too much about correct proportions because I want to find new proportions. So if the, if the proportions are a little bit ridiculous or they're a little bit unresolved, that's okay. We're just exploring. This is an, this is an exploration process. This might be some kind of a, a hatchback with a very, very cropped off rear end. You can see it has a it's kind of longish front overhang and a very cropped off, very short rear overhang. And see how the how the lines interact with each other. You can start to imagine some very, very unique forms and shapes. Like for example, this this body side almost looks like it kind of twists on itself. You know, these could be sedans, they could be uh, sports cars, they could be sports sedans, or some, some uh, combination of a, of a supercar and a, and a, and a uh, four-passenger vehicle. Perhaps more of an SUV or crossover vehicle, so maybe, maybe the ground clearance goes up a little bit. And we give it this very coupe-like silhouette, but a bit more ground clearance. So it's not quite an SUV, it's not quite a sedan, but it has some of the character and quality of, of, of both. You can see also how I'm starting to add a little bit of, a little bit of uh, shading, just to kind of indicate some of, the, some of the forms. So this could be a, a, a four passenger vehicle that rides a little bit a little bit higher off the ground and has a bit more cargo space but not quite as much as a full SUV. It's somewhere between a, a sports sedan and an SUV. And this is also a really good warm-up exercise. So if you're just you're starting off a sketch session and you want to just loosen up your hands, loosen up your mind, it, it, oftentimes when I'm uh, when I when I start a project and I'm just too specific about what I want. I, I often um, I often get very very stiff, and I end up sketching things that are very familiar. But when I'm 
sketching in this way, I, I, I really like free up my hand and I free up my mind at the same time. It's a really great way to, to warm up and to, to get started. And so uh, I want you to do like five or 10 pages of these uh, and, and see, see what you come up with. Try, try sedans, sports cars, SUVs, and try melding them into, melding them together into new categories. Uh, could be a, an SUV coupe, or it could be a supercar van, or it could be a, a, a pickup truck luxury car. Just, just try um, like just melding together all these different shapes and, and forms and styles and see what you can come up with. And a lot of times that's how future vehicles are, are born. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.